Welcome back to the Red Carpet Re-Up. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most notorious figures in American drug history, Gerald Prince Miller, a name synonymous with the infamous Supreme Team. With his release from federal prison set for September 11, 2024, we'll explore his rise to power in the drug trade, the legal consequences that followed, and what his return to society means for all of us. Let's get into it. Miller grew up in Queens, New York, during a time of intense socioeconomic challenges. By the late 80s, he emerged as a key figure in the Supreme Team, a ruthless drug organization that controlled the crack cocaine trade at the height of the epidemic. This group didn't just sell drugs, they dominated the streets, engaging in violent confrontations with rival gangs. And Miller, he was a mastermind. His strategic approach allowed him to control large territories and maintain a loyal, tight-knit crew, all while ensuring a steady supply of drugs. The Supreme Team's operations wreaked havoc on communities, contributing to the nationwide drug crisis. But the law was watching. After years of investigation, the feds swooped in. In 1991, Miller was arrested and charged with multiple drug-related offenses, including conspiracy to distribute crack cocaine. The evidence? Overwhelming. Wiretaps, surveillance, testimony from his own associates. In 1992, Miller was handed a severe sentence, seven concurrent life terms, plus 20 years. His conviction marked a major win for law enforcement during the war on drugs sending a message that even the most powerful street bosses wouldn't escape justice. Now, fast forward to today, Miller's release date is just around the corner, and it's raising some serious questions. On one hand, advocates for criminal justice reform argue that after serving his time, he deserves a chance to reintegrate into society, focusing on rehabilitation. On the other hand, some are concerned. Given Miller's influence during his Supreme Team days, many wonder, can he really leave behind the life that made him notorious? And what impact will his return have on the very communities once ravaged by his drug empire? These are questions we'll have to watch unfold. In the end, the story of Gerald Prince Miller is more than just a tale of crime and punishment. It's a story about the broader issues of justice, redemption, and societal responsibility. As his release approaches, the world will be watching closely, wondering if he can start a new chapter or if the shadow of his past will follow him. Let us know in the comments. What do you think about his release? Can a figure like Miller truly reform after decades in prison? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives like this. See you next time on the Red Carpet Re-Up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for more news and stories from the world of music and culture.